Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to see about the joining in SQL, and this is one of the most important topic. Even you will appear for any kind of the interview, they will ask. Even if you will go for industry, and even if you if you are doing any kind of the work, these are going to help you. So we are going to understand in a deeper way. So let us try to understand. Okay, what is the joining? Okay. So suppose let me give you one of the example. Suppose you have a two example. Okay. Let, suppose you have a we have a two example. Okay, suppose I have a customer table, I have a order table. Okay, in customer table, I have information about the customer ID one, two, three, four, five, and I have a name Mani, Rani, and different names are available. Similarly, order table, whatever the customer ID, that information we have, and what is their selling price, that is also available. Now, if you want to know this customer ID, what corresponding to this customer ID, what is their price? So you will always look for this order table where all the price and the selling price is mentioned. Okay, so what actually you will do? We will generally try to join with this two table, right? If you will join based on the customer ID, both the table, then only we can get the price information. Okay, we can get the ID name and corresponding their prices. So we always have to merge this two table, then only we can get it, right? So in that kind of the scenario, we generally go for the joining. Okay. Now we have a different kinds of the joins which is available. Types of the join which we have to understand how actually it works. The first join is like inner join. Okay. Now left table. Let us try to understand. We have a two table. One table the left side is we are saying as a one. Second table right side table we are saying as a two. Okay. Now we have a different. Types of the join. One is the inner join. Second is the left join. Third is the right join. Fourth is the pull of the join. Okay. Now let us try to understand what is the inner join means. Inner join. Inner join means all all matching records. You always have to remember all matching records. Okay. Means okay. Suppose you have a uh, this table. Okay. ID and uh, a customer table and a order table. When you will do a inner join, when we will do a inner join, based on the ID we are joining, right? Because ID is present in the both the table. When you will join, if you will see in the customer table we have a ID one that is also present in the order table. If you will see order ID two that is not present here, ID three is also present here. Means only one and ID one and ID three only is present in the both the table, right? Okay, so when you will do a inner join, right? When we will do a inner join, when we will do a inner join, you will get to see this kind of the records. Means ID one and ID three, ID one and ID three corresponding their name, corresponding their name, whatever the name is there, and corresponding their prices. ID one, three, what is their prices? Ten thousand and the thirty thousand. Okay, when we will do a inner join, right? Inner join means only the matching records, whatever the record which is available in the both the table, that records only you will get it. Okay, that means whatever the records is available in our left table, whatever the records is in our level in the right table, whatever the ID which is available in the both the table, that records only we will get in the case of the inner join. Okay, I hope you have understood. Now let us try to see about the left join. In the case of the left join, what happens? All the records which is available in the left table. So we always consider one table as a left, one table as a right. The first table we will say as a left, second table we will say as a right. So all the records which is available from the left table, you will get only the matching records. You will get it from the right table. Now let us try to understand. Now if you will see, customer table is our left table, order table is our right table. Now you can see in customer table, left table we have one, two, three, four, five, right? Now if you will do a left join, so what we are saying, all the records you will get it from the left table, okay? Now if you will see here, only the matching records, only the matching records you will get it from the right table. So what are the records which is present in a right table? ID one is present, so ID one you will get. The ten thousand you will get. Okay, ID two is present in a right table, but it is not present in a left table, and we are doing left join, right? So this will be a null. This will be a null because this is not present, right? ID three is present, right? So ID three you will get it. 
corresponding there uh, price also you will get it because this is present id 4 is not present so you will get null you will get null id 5 is also not present so you will get null this you will get as a null okay means all the records whatever the records we have from the left table you will get only the matching records from the right table you will get like the id 1 and 3 and the rest of, rest of the value you will get as a null that means a left join left join means all the records from the left table now let us try to understand about the right join right, right join means all the records you will get it from the right table only the matching records you will get it from the left table okay now if you will do a right join okay now suppose we are doing a uh, right join okay let me insert one more column one minute okay now in case of the right join what happens this is our right table right so all the records you will get it from the right table this is fine okay now only the matching records which is available from the left table what are the records which is present from the left table uh, id1 is uh, present right id2 is not present so this will be a null and the name also will be a null this also be a null okay id3 is present so you will get id4 is null and id5 is also null and corresponding their name also will be a null okay so this will be in case of the right join so this is our left join left join means all the requests from the left table and the matching records from the right table in case of the right join all the records from the right table only the matching record from the left table now let us try to understand about the the last scenario that is a full outer join in case of the full outer join how actually it works full outer join means all the records from both the table and whatever the record it is matching you will get it otherwise it will give us a null okay now if you will do a full outer join okay so this is the id we have okay now what are the id also we have from the right table id 1 and 3 is there right id 1 and 3 is there so id is there price is there right now id 1 2 3 4 is available here 9 8 7 so 9 8 7 this is available in a right table this is available in our right table okay now what what are the records it is matching 987 is not available into a left table right so this will be give us a null this will get us a null because this are the record which is not present in a left table in our first table now let us see id1 is id2 is present in both the table no so we will get us a null this we will get us a null okay 987 price 9 price is 40000 this you will get 8 price is 50000 you will get 7 price is 60000 you will get and uh, third price is 30000 you will get because this is present in both the table id1 price is 10000 this you will get it and uh, corresponding id1 and the 3 like this you will get a record means full join means we are joining both the table whatever it is matching it is it will give all the record otherwise it will give, give us a null okay in case of the inner join all the record from both the table in case of the left join only all the record from the left table and one matching record from the right table all the records from the right table in case of the right join only the matching record from the left table in case of the full outer join all the record from the both the table only the matching records it will give all, all record otherwise it will give us a null okay now let us try to do in a practical way and let us try to understand how actually we can write a query okay so i have a two table okay i have a two table one is the employee table and one is the department table now let us try with the inner join inner join means all only the matching records you will get it from the both the table now first let us try to see first table is employee table here we have id 1 2 3 4 but in a second table you can see 1 9 3 7 is there 1 and 3 only the matching record is there means 1 and 3 only should match and it should give record for 1 and 3 and 9 and 7 we will not get it okay 
means only the matching records we will get one and three records only we will get when we will do an inner join because that is available in both the table so syntax is simple selects are from what is our table and employee table this is our first table what we have to write we have to write a we are doing an inner join so just write a join what is our second table after that you have to write a second table and after that we have to write on and we have to give a condition condition means employee dot id employee is our table name employee dot id equal to the department dot id why we are writing employee dot id because id is the column which is available in both the table right so when we will say employee dot id means it is taking from employee dot from employee table id and we are checking whether it is equal to the department table dot id okay so this is the condition we are giving now if you will execute you will get only the matching records you can see id 1 and 3 both are present in a both the table right so like that actually you can perform a inner join okay and now uh, we also have a left join in case of the left join what happens all the records you will get it from the left table only the matching records you will get it from the right table so what we have to write selects are from table name what is our table name employee tab table after that we have to write left join what is our second table department and we have to give condition like employee employee dot id equal to the department dot id now if you will do this means you will get all the records from a left table only the matching records you will get it from the right table and rest will be the null you can see one and three both are present in both the tables so you are getting all the records but which is not present it is giving us a null in a similar way now if you will do a right join query is very simple okay the query is same only select star from employee instead of left we have to write a right okay in this case you will get all the records from the right table right table you can see id implies all the records we are getting whatever the record is present in the left table you are getting rest are coming as a null okay now now last case that is a full outer join in a case of the full outer join what happen in a full outer join all, all the records you will get is from both the table okay and only the matching record which is present in both the table you will get the syntax is selects are from table name what is our first table employee after that we have to write full outer join and second table is department and we have to give on employee dot id equal to the department dot id if you will do this and if you will execute you will get to see all the records you can see 1 2 3 4 is present in a left table 9 7 is also present in a right table so we are getting it and whatever the record is matching it is giving otherwise it is giving as a null okay so these are the types of the joining and these are the query which we have to remember